Hello and welcome to another episode of the Meeples and Miniatures Miniature Review Show. Today I'm looking at another plastic box set from Warlord Games. This time we're looking at their Pike and Shot range and we're specifically looking at their Parliamentarian Infantry. Now this is a big box set in the case of you get a lot of figures in here. We've seen the, the Roman box set first. Similar size box, you get 24. In this box set we're, we're getting 40 miniatures. Okay, so actually quite a decent size unit here. And as you can see here, it says you know, multi-pose. We'll come back to that. I think I have I have a, a slight issue with that phrase, but we'll come back to it later. If you flip the box over, it actually tells you completely what the contents of the box are. So there are 40 miniatures. You have 24 musketeers, 12 pikemen, and then essentially a command stand. Okay, Captain, ensign, sergeant, and musician. It's actually a drummer. And then you get a booklet which also contains unit flags, etc. So, pretty decent package. So, again, as before, let's open the box and see what you actually get. And the first thing to note is, rather than lots of little sprues, you get fewer big sprues. So you have three main sprues, and each of those sprues has 13 troops on it. You have a smaller sprue, half size, I suppose, and that's your command sprue. And then, you also have a unit of bases which is something you haven't seen in the Ancients range, but it's a very nice to have. And as you can see here, there's a selection of individual bases, a couple of long group bases, so you can put two or three, maybe even four figures on, and then you've got a couple of square bases as well. So, nice selection of stuff to actually end up basing your models with. A good start. So let's take a look at the main sprue, and as you can see here, there are 13 figures on each of the main sprues. And as far as poses are concerned, we've got about six individual poses. Having said that, there are subtle differences. So there's slight differences in hairstyle, in facial expression. So actually, you've got a fair difference in the type of miniature you're actually getting on each of the sprues. It may be as good to say that you've almost got 13 individual figures. Definitely 8 or 9 on each sprue. So that's quite a decent selection. Let's take a close up at a close look at some of these. And as you can see immediately, I was really impressed with these. Excellent detailing on the figures. It really stands out as we look through all these. The detailing is sharp, well defined. I mean, it's typical 28mm sort of sculpting, so it will kind of fit in well with a lot of the metals ranges, which I suppose is the way they're designed in the first place. So from that sort of things, you know, it really is job done. But again, the thing to note, I think, on this is that just the type and amount of details, you know, and everything looks just that little bit sharper definitely the best plastic sprue I've seen so far from either the likes of Warlord or Wargames Factory and actually maybe even Perry as well I think these are probably some of the best I've seen at the moment so you have a fair selection of figures and when you look at this particular sprue you think wow I've got lots of options and that kind of actually flatters to deceive remember you, you've got a 40 man unit being built up from these. This sprue contains 13. So you've got 39 and then you've got a command sprue. And we'll come on to the command sprue in a minute. So if you look closely at what you've actually got in the sprue, other than the troops, down the bottom you've got uh, all the muskets. And you've got a selection of eight different muskets. And they're in a selection of poses. Uh, they're either held across the chest. You've got a couple where they're actually firing. You've got a couple where they're held on the shoulder. Okay, and then in conjunction with that, you have a selection of other arms that you can use on the figures. And if you look down the bottom, there are a selection of headgear. You'll notice all the heads of all the figures are bare. Okay, so you can choose a whole different selection of headgear that's all down the bottom. So each individual figure can have a different hat, and you can even put plumes on the hats and stuff. They've got, they've got a few little bits of that in there as well. You'll also notice uh, dotted around on all the sprues there's a whole load of, scab uh, of sword scabbards. All the figures you'll notice have cross sashes and areas that, that the sword scabbards will actually need to be attached to, but all the sword scabbards are separate. So you have a selection of headgear, you have a selection of weapons, you have eight muskets, and you have four pikes, all the pikes at the top of the sprue. That's only 12 weapons, and you have 13 figures. Similarly, you've got 13 figures, you've actually got 13 pieces of headgear. Okay, so although there the looks to be an awful lot of stuff 
on this sprue. Actually, in order to build your unit, you'll need it all. Okay, so there's nothing spare, or very, very little spare. In fact, if you look on the, again, look on the sprues, your weapon short because there are 13, there are 13 miniatures. It's only 12 weapons, and this is where I slightly take an issue with the, the phrase multi pose. Yes, you can change uh, what weapons are with which bodies which bodies are wearing what headgear but it's quite obvious from looking at the figures that uh, certain bodies are designed to be used with certain weapon layouts uh, for example if we look at the the top line of five figures you'll notice that the two on the right have cupped hands and they're quite obviously there to hold pikes in an upright position so those two figures are fixed as far as their function and there are two upright pikes on each sprue that aren't attached to arms so as I say whilst it says multi-pose it's probably not as multi-pose as what you may think it is and I suppose it's a similar sort of comment to what I had with their own auxiliary in the fact of whereas Wargames Factory has gone down a route where you have multiple arms uh, that all fit in uh, in multiple different ways, so you have a, a, a bigger selection of weaponry and a selection of arms. What Warlord Gamers have done, have g- gone down that multi-pose route to everything selection, but everything is is a little bit more limited. So, you know, you need everything on the sprue, the, the, there are no spares. So whilst you do have options as opposed to what bodies you use with what arms, and what headgear, you essentially need everything. Let's take another look at the command sprue while we're here. And here you see we have three figures. Again, really well sculpted, excellent details. As you take a closer look, you see we've got arms with swords, arms with pistols, various different headgear, uh, scabbards, an arm for the ensign, you've got an arm for a filled banner, you've got a banner pole available. So, complete command sprue. Again, slightly different set of poses. Very good detailing. A really nice set of figures but put it all together what you have is 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 3 is 42 so you've got 42 figures in the box set only makes a unit of 40 troops and all the weaponry is limited so you only make a unit of 40 troops plus your command set so you have an option on a couple of bodies let's just take a quick close-up of one of the figures on the command sprue you see Again, excellent detail. Really can't get away from that. Yeah, they really are excellently done figures. And finally, let's have a look at a couple put together. See, just a couple of little options you can have. Again, very easy to put together these. A couple of slight issues as far as the uh, the feet are concerned with a bit of flash, but very little mould lines, very little cleaning up to do. And again, nice big areas to glue. So they fit well together, they're very solid. These things don't come apart very easily. The figures go together really well and they look fantastic. I was really, really impressed with this set. So in conclusion, the parliamentary figure set is an excellent set of miniatures. The box set itself retails for around about £20. You can find it again in uh, most of your hobby retailers. It's available direct from Warlord Games. But again, it seems that because it's a plastic box set, these are starting to get out into the wider community. Uh, similarly, with the other Warlord stuff, I've seen this at my local toy shop. Very pleasing to see. And for the quality of figure, it's a very good price. They're easy to put together. They're solid and they stay put together. I'll state again, yeah, this issue I had with getting all my plastic figures out and uh, dropping them on the way out to actually take the pictures. These were fine. So you're not going to have problems if you happen to knock them off the table. Generally, they'll stay together. Although, you know, it's not something I recommend you do all the time, obviously. And of all the box sets I've seen, this is probably the best. I was really impressed with these. Really made me kind of, well, really almost made me want to start an a English Civil War army in 28mm. So, very impressed with these in Warlord games, and very well worth a look. Well, that's all I've got time for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it both enjoyable and useful. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.